Canvas Studio. Editing features. Adding and replacing video and sound. If you want to record a replacement segment for your audio and video, you're going to put your pointer on the timeline, you're going to go to Tools, and then you're going to go to Replace. And I'm going to go here to Replace Video. And I'm not going to keep the webcam or the narration. And so I then drag the area that I want to replace like this or use the S and the E and then I'm going to click on start it brings back the recorder I click record and so I start recording and this recording is going to replace the segment that I highlighted and usually you try to keep it within a certain time frame of that replacement and when you finish you click the pause here and you click done and so it's now added this new content on the video line and it has replaced the content that I highlighted so that's replaced now the other thing that you can do is you can put your pointer somewhere and go to tools and go to insert and bring in a video file that was not made in studio. I'm going to go to video file and then it takes me to my videos folder and you can navigate through these icons here and so I'm going to come over here to this little snippet and click open. Then I click OK and it's now added in that content. Another thing that you can do is you can remove the sound if you don't like it. So for instance, this segment has some sound that I don't particularly like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the play button first and then pause. And now I can get to my tools. So I'm going to click tools and I'm going to go to volume. And you can either turn on and off the narration or the computer sounds and so in this case I want both of them off. Now the choices are on, turn the sound down, turn the sound up, or turn it off altogether. So narration is turned off altogether and on the computer I'm going to do the same thing and then it's going to ask me to drag the bar. I can put my pointer there and press S and then come down here and press E and then click OK and you'll see it's taken the sound wave out and so if I put my pointer here you'll see the video but you won't hear any sound. Now if you have a piece of music that you want to put in the background of your video it will loop depending on how long it is it may loop many times so I have a piece of music that I have stuck in a music folder so I can show you that. So I'm coming up here to music, I cl click the plus and then you see I've already selected music snippet mix. I don't have to go and find it. And then I pull that in. Now there's going to be a bit of music behind all this content. So let's take a listen. So there you go. There you now have music for your whole entire video line. And so that's a nice way to add a little background music. Besides adding a video that was recorded outside of Studio, you can also record a new video segment inside of Studio. So here I want to insert new video. So I put my pointer somewhere and then I go to Tools. Then I go to insert and click new recording. I am able to click the record button here and I can choose whether I want both the webcam or the screen or just the screen. And in this case, I just want the screen. So then I click record and the 
video starts recording after about three seconds and then I can demonstrate what I want to in Microsoft Word such as making something a heading. Oh, it's already a heading. So I can alter that heading just to have something to demonstrate. There we go. And now I'm finished with my insert. And I click done. And then it says insert will happen right here. Drag bar to reposition. So I click OK. And that new chunk of video is going to play right there. Recording after about three seconds. And then I can demonstrate what I want to in Microsoft Word. Okay, so those are the ways to add and replace video and even add music to your video.